Good morning and welcome back to Gaia, the channel and Cockatoo will do switching gears very drastically from um, medical issues that are quite complex uh, to issues of entertainment and creativity. Uh, the, of course, the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival starts tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is opening night. And to talk about opening night, Gael, of course, has partnered with the film festival to tell, to let you know as much as we can about the film festival before it starts and to, to bring you some of the people who are involved in that festival. And one of those people is Maria Govan, and the other is Marina Salandi. Brown and Marina Sanandi Brown, of course, is one of the founding directors of the film festival. And Maria Govan is a Bohemian film director, film producer, who has produced a film called Rain that is going to debut tomorrow night at our film festival. It's been to the Toronto Film Festival already and has had uh, quite some good reviews. Good morning to you both, first of all. And I'm just hustling through because we're trying to get in as much as we can. Tell us about Rain and tell us about Bohemian filmmaking and, and the difficulties of being one of the first to produce a, a feature length film in the Bahamas. Uh, so, Rain is a story of a 14 year old girl whose name is Rain, and she, uh, she was raised on a rural, sort of idyllic island uh, with her grandmother in the Bahamas. And uh, her grandmother dies at the beginning of the film, and she takes this journey to reconnect with her mother, whom she's had very, no relationship with, essentially. And her mom turns out to be a very sort of broken, lost character who has a drug problem and takes her into a very impoverished part of the Bahamas. Anyways, it's a really simple story about their relationship and how it changes them both. And Rain is really talented. She's a gifted runner because, you know, our Bahamian women are fast yes, on course, their feet. You know, yeah. um, and so she's mentored by a coach who's actually, I wrote as a Trinidadian because I, I love Trini people, so that was in right. honor of y'all. Um, and yeah, it's a really sort of sweet, simple uh, story that really looks at certain issues I feel that are that are present in our in our society there so what what were some of the challenges in, in producing a, a film in the Bahamas and I'm assuming Bahamas. it was shot on yeah. location how, how did you get to a point where you said yes I can make a feature film I was really naive and I really sort of was blindly kind of in a, in a positive way, you know, sort of went forward. It was, it was a real, you know, the community and the, I was very supported. I raised all my money locally. Uh, there were, you know, private equity investments, so wealthy people invested in the film. Um, in terms of challenges, I don't think there were really any challenges that I can say are particular to the Bahamas. Right. There were a lot of challenges that are, you know, there, but yeah. they were not specific unto the Bahamas. I feel that the Bahamas is a really actually easy place and a really wonderful place. It's very nurturing to filmmakers and sort of makes it very easy to make Global films. challenges of, of funding and that sort of thing. There, no, of just actually more, you know, my challenges were sort of odd. It, they were not what, you know, often people say the challenge is going to be money, the challenge is going to be this. For me, it was, it was not that. It was much more we did run out of money and had some debt, you know, when we finished the film. My lead actress got pneumonia at the end, so we lost three days of filming okay. and those kinds of sort of very specific to yeah. this particular journey. So, M Marina, what was special about, about Rain that, that makes it the feature film that you want to right off the top bring us this movie? Well, <clears throat> Marie described it as a very simple story, and it is, but it's a story that's recognizable by any group of people in any Caribbean island, because it really is a story of somebody who's living with a grandmother, because the mother can't care for her, and the mother's not there, absent mother, obviously very absent father. The grandmother dies. I mean, it's a story that's replicated over and over and over. And then she finds somebody in her life who turns her life around and make, allows her to realize her own potential. And so it's a story that's a very sad story, but it's a very uplifting story. And wh why we chose it was because it's our story. I mean, it's a yes. story where you find anywhere across the Caribbean, white, black, Indian, whatever, it can happen to any one of us. But it's hopeful because you can escape, you know, what happens to you. The, the social context will be very recognizable to totally. all, all West Indian viewers. Uh, and it's beautifully made as well. Yeah. And it shows that an independent producer or director can make a film about something that's important, that has resonance with us, and tell it beautifully. And, and then there was a, a description in the synopsis of, of Rain as, as it being a sort of unvarnished film. Tell me, mm -hmm. what, what, what does that mean? Um, Why would it be described as, as unvarnished? I, I, you know, I, I, uh, I come from documentary. I learned filmmaking through making very guerrilla style documentary films. So it's, you know, I think I like that sort of more realistic. I mean, in some ways, I feel that it, it's varnished in, in certain parts of the movie, and then it becomes a little less so. Um, I don't know. I wanted to integrate like reality as much yes. as possible. So, f for example, there are scenes in the film where we actually 
you know, went out and used persons who really live the experience that we were trying to represent. And when, you know, when you see the film, you'll recognize in some ways the, those distinctions where perhaps like professional actors were not used and we used people off the street essentially and you feel that it's a very authentic in certain parts of the film. So it does have a kind of documentary feel. Perhaps that's what they're speaking they're to. They're speaking about. Um, no expensive props. Right, no, right. No. <laughs> You, you've had to make do on a budget, of course, yeah. and, and that. You've been to Toronto International Film Festival. You've been to a Bahamas International Film Festival. Yeah. Um, any nerves when, when you bring a film before an audience, though? Oh, yeah, the especially film here, festival. I feel very nervous because I have a lot of friends in the audience. It's, it's actually, you know, when, when I don't know anybody, it's fine. But if I, if I do, like the Bahamas Film Festival is absolutely terrifying yeah. for me. Um, so, yeah, I do feel a little nervous. I mean, it's vulnerable. You know, it's, it's my work. I've spent a lot of time on it. And it's, you know, we as filmmakers, of course, we grapple with our own sort of issues and criticisms of the work. And I often sit there thinking, Jesus, they can see that or they're thinking <laughs> yes. that or do they realize that? So it's, you know, but that's part of the journey. You know, I'm excited to share. I feel so thankful that the festival is opening with the film. It's a huge honor and I'm really grateful to them. And Marina, we're going to have to wrap up this morning. But just tell us. Um, Tomorrow night, just a little more, 6, 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., we're showing two films. Movie the Town. At Movie Town. The other film is called Queen of the Brands, made by Trinidadian. It's funny. That's a short film. It's a real poke in the eye of a rampant consumerism. All yeah. right, great. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. $25 at the door. Tomorrow the evening, festival. it's no, it's by invitation. Opening night, by invitation, okay. And, and we have some tickets available for sale, but they're going fast. So if you want one, you've got to ring 621-0709. 621 0709. And of course, you can go to www.trinidadandtobagofilmfestival.com yes. and check out what's showing, what's um, showing for yeah, the next two for weeks. Two weeks starting, starting t well, tomorrow yeah. for two weeks at Movie Town, but also at UWE, a week in Tobago at Movie Town, Naparima Girls, Studio Film Club. So there's a lot going on. Over 70 films, so it's a lot. And so, some great films them. that you can go out. Yes, <laughs> please do go out and, and support Caribbean filmmaking uh, so that we can see something besides the Hollywood-produced films.